Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the second webinar organized by Ceramic World Review, uh, Web and Review for uh, Technonex. Uh, we are very pleased to have more than 300 uh, guests registered to follow our webinar that will be run just after my speech. And uh, again, this afternoon for those people who are in, in, in other countries that would be impossible for them to, to follow us now. Um, we, after the one we, we held in December, we choose to start the new year with uh, a very uh, hot topic for our industry, which is antibacterial surfaces. So I'll soon leave the floor to three of the leading companies that will explain you and um, teach you how uh, to improve uh, these technologies um, in, in your production plans. As you know, Technonext is an initiative uh, which, is, uh, which was done by Achima, which I represent and give you all the greetings from Achima and Yek, which is the organizer of Technagilla that was impossible to, to have last year. Uh, so we thought uh, it was a good idea to run an online platform and a series of webinars that could help all of us to keep in contact during the, this difficult, let's say, months that hopefully will be ending uh, soon. Uh, so I'll thank you again for your presence and leave the floor to Alessandra Stolfi, Group Brand Manager of the Egg Exhibition Group. Thank you, Gianpaolo. Good morning to all of you. On behalf of Italian Exhibition Group, it's my pleasure to welcome our international operators to the second webinar uh, we plan in collaboration with the Ceramic World Review. Uh, this is a cycle of online seminars uh, held on the Technanext uh, platform that will serve as a roadmap leading to the next edition of Tecna due to be held in the Rimini Exhibition Center from the 27th of September to the 1st of October, 2021, and organized by the Italian Exhibition Group and ASIMAC. The aim of the digital platform Tecna Next uh, is to support companies and the global community of ceramic operators during the period between now and uh, <clears throat> between now and the Tecna 2020 by providing new tools and strategic opportunity to ensure the industry is ready when the world economy gets back to normality. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the International Fair, as you know, were not able to welcome its usual masses of visitors in person these years. However, our company and ASIMAC have managed to find a way to deliver it to their customers a digital high-quality space, creating a marketplace and providing a networking opportunity between the sellers and buyers. Moreover, we managed to create a virtual showroom where to all content, innovation, and products. So the purpose of the platform is not merely to replace a physical visit to the Tecna exhibition, but rather to use the digital facilities available to create more value. So thank you very much for your time. A special thanks uh, to our panelists, to Paola Giacomini, and I wish you a, a pleasant session with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alessandra, and thank you, Gianpaolo Crasta, for your welcome uh, to our guests. And I also say good morning, everybody, and welcome to this second webinar. Uh, I'm Paola Giacomini, in charge of our magazines, the Ceramic World Review and Ceramic World Web, and I will be honored to host today three among three companies which stands out, stand out as uh, the most expert companies in the field of uh, uh, solutions uh, to produce uh, antibacterial surfaces. This is in reality our first uh, webinar of the cycle of Technanext webinar dedicated to uh, technical aspects. Um, we decided to start the cycle with, uh, yes, as Giampaolo said, the hottest topic 
the, which is really a, a master, uh, a sort of master topic for uh, companies producing ceramic tiles uh, today, uh, antibacterial surfaces. We know that uh, the research on this kind of uh, solutions uh, have not started yesterday. Uh, the three companies who, which will present, which will have their presentations today, Colorobia, Microban, and Mecto, and Metco, are all uh, have all been involved in research uh, on antibacterial solutions for ceramic surfaces for many, many years. And we started talking about this topic at the beginning of the year 2000s. Of course, at that time, this kind of offer of proposals, of technical proposals, could be uh, too much anticipated uh, respect to the real request and demand of the market. As we have seen in the latest years and mostly last year, the sensitivity of customers worldwide, not only in some mature countries, but really worldwide toward the topics of hygiene, safety, uh, environmental uh, sustainability has increased uh, uh, to the point that nowadays uh, even ceramic tile producers uh, are really thinking strongly to uh, start manufacturing also this very innovative but very requested product. So um, I will leave soon the floor to our guests uh, who I thank really uh, heartily uh, for joining us today. Uh, just as short information, all our participants have the possibility to uh, send questions to our speakers. Uh, uh, our speakers will be able to answer either uh, during the webinar or after the webinar via email directly to you. So any questions you have, uh, please write them and uh, you will receive an answer. So let me introduce you to, to uh, our first speaker today, um, Laura Nicolai from Colorobia. Uh, good morning, Laura. Good Welcome. morning. Uh, Laura Nicolai will present uh, a speech entitled Anti Antibacterial Nanostructural Ceramic, The Strength to, to be Nano. And she will explain us why. Uh, so, Laura, welcome, and uh, the, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to share my presentation. Do you see me? Okay. Okay, do you see me? May, may I start? Do you hear me? You can, you can start, Laura. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Good morning and welcome, everybody. I'm Laura Nicolai from Colorado. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the organizer for these events and uh, your participation too. Uh, I'm going to um, present the experience of Colorobia uh, in a long time study about antibacterial nanostructured ceramics. The subtitle of this presentation is The Strain to be Small or Better to be Nano. And we, uh, we will speak uh, about nanomaterials and how this nanomaterial can be used in the <clears throat> producing of nanostructures antibacterial surfaces. So this presentation is uh, divided in seven parts. And the first part is just about uh, a, a sketch, a very fast presentation of the Advanced Research uh, Center of Colorobia that has been set up uh, at, the begin uh, at the end of 90s, at the beginnings of 2000s and uh, devoted to, main, to the study of innovative products on two main lines of research, nanomaterials and special glass, in particular glass ceramics. Uh, the object of today is the research line on nanomaterial. Now we have on the market 
uh, some cereals or parnasos. Parnasos in Italian means uh, it's an acronym. Particelle nanometriche sospese in English suspension, nanoparticle suspension. Um, Sericol is the Italian name of this project. Um, is devoted to research activity. It's uh, based on four divisions, uh, among which material divisions, uh, special for functional coating that is the object of the today presentation. Nanomaterial division, because we are speaking about nanomaterials, not only in the field of ceramics, but obviously also in the core business of Colorobia. A division uh, uh, regarding scale up process and pre-industrialization of these materials, and obviously a big analytical division supporting all the rest. Uh, it's very close to us uh, by projects uh, in which uh, competences are attributed. And the positioning of this uh, center is uh, between industrial partners uh, and university. Uh, indeed, uh, Cerical had uh, many, several collaboration also with public centers and academia. Uh, let me speak two minutes about also definition and the term in use in this presentation and in general in this field because uh, we are speaking about nanomaterials. Um, this image is just to concretize our visual imagination. What's uh, about a nano is? Nano is uh, an ant respect to a whale. The weight of an ant is eight milligrams. The weight of a whale is eight tons. So, so this, the same relationships between one nano and one meter. You can see the equation in the bottom, uh, at the bottom of the slides. So you have un already understood that we are, sorry, we are speaking about the nanoscale. And when we speak about nanomaterials, we speak about objects with the three dimension at nanoscale level following the ISO 27687. And when it speaks about nanoproducts and the object of this presentation are nanoproducts, we speak about nanostructures material having an internal structure at the nanoscale level. Nanomaterials and nanoparticles for us are synonyms, but when we speak about nanoproducts, we speak about products engineered with nanomaterials. Uh, the typical case is the smart surface coated with nanoparticles. Obviously, these nanoparticles are used then in a device or nano machines. And I will show an example about that. Um, Consequently, the more consolidated scale scope of application of the nanomaterials of Colorobia is to get uh, nanostructures products, is to, to get coating for obtaining smart surfaces. And we, uh, we understood uh, since uh, 15 years that it could be a good occasion for a, a market expansion in the mission of the research center created just for the business diversification. Um, and now I present you the several nanomaterials studied by Colorobia, uh, the nanoparticle ZO, um, in which you can see metals, binary metals, nanocoatings, oxide, compressed oxides, and other. And in red, you can find those nanomaterials having specifically intrinsic antibacterial or, and or antiviral characteristics. Um, with all this material over the time, Colorobia studied several coatings on several substrates, among which metal, glass, ceramics, marble, stone, fabrics, paper, and so on, just to get this surface protected uh, because when you <coughs> get a coating, uh, you want to do a general protection of the surface, but, but not only. Also to give to the surface other characteristics such as self-cleaning, antibacterial, um, super hydrophobicity, uh, and so on. Our experience, our first experience has been with titanium since the year 2006. 
we study this uh, oxide, the special oxides, and over the time we arrive to our um, top product that is a titania nitrogen doped with the characteristics, specific characteristics to be reactive to visible light, to visible LEDs with a wavelength greater than 450 nanometers. Uh, it's in the serious pH of Parnassus nanoparticles. Now we have two formulation on the market. The first one, water-based, uh, with the high content of titanium, about 6%, and the other one, alcohol-based, um, specially recommended for coating on polymers or on plastics. Uh, we have um, a, some, some patterns on, on these materials. Uh, the last one is the patent exactly on the, on the last uh, creator in the uh, field of titania. Uh, this formulation are recommended for application by deep coating or spray coating. But I want to, to, talk, to tell you the experience about the big study that we did uh, about the interaction of matrix and active ingredient. In this case, I'm presenting you a ceramic matrix. It's a tile in honeycomb shapes is a, a technical ceramics unit that has been treated with this coating of titanium nitrogen doped uh, with the objective to get a filter for air treatment. Because you know that titania is a photocatalyst that reacts under lights, in this case, visible light. Uh, to work as a depollutant agent. And it's also antibacterials and also antiviral. To go to the market, because this was our main scope, we faced with the theme of reproducibility. And we identified uh, many key points, among which uh, the main are reported in this slide. So, our first issue was to identify a reliable quality control system. Because if you don't have in your hands a quality control system reliable, you, can, you cannot go on. The second point was the, to be sure that our scale-up phase uh, granted to us to have every every day, every lot, the same quality for the active ingredient, in this case, in this case titania nitrogen dope. And uh, also the, the deep study of this interaction between the ceramic matrix and uh, the active ingredient allowed us to select the right substrate to grant the, repro the industrial reproducibility. Otherwise, we couldn't go to to the market. Obviously, in this case, we are speaking about a filter unit for air treatment. So we had also to face with the study of the eventual release of nanoparticles into the environment and also the durability of the system. Because our object, I say again, was to grant a good functioning system for treatment of all the air. Uh, this is some, um, some graphs uh, about uh, the functioning of the system. It's uh, able to deplete uh, nitrogen oxide, but you know this is in the state of the art for photocatalysts. This is the behavior regard formal day depletion and isotropic alcohol. The depletion as a representative of organic solvents. And this is uh, the certification of the antiviral behavior of this filter unit treated with titania. Uh, to get this certification, and the, in, the, in the bottom of the slice, so there is the test in aerosol of the filter with this filter unit. We are very proud of this certification uh, produced by an authorized uh, laboratory or <clears throat> by EHA. Um, we realized also some industrial plants in, using this filter plate, but we recently launched into the market our 
air purifier that use from one to three modules of our filter units that I have already presented in the previous slides. You can see this uh, breathe air purifier at the website, u.bid.com. But uh, I, I want to underline again that to arrive here, we have to face with that theme of reproducibility. The second experience, the second experience is with silver. Also silver is well, no, well known in the state of the art, but we start in the year 2010. Uh, actually, uh, we didn't work continuously until now. We had some stop, but recently, uh, uh, exactly last year, uh, we have taken care again of this project. But since the beginning, we understood that only if, if uh, silver is available at the surface, we can grant a behavior, uh, antibacterial behavior of the tiles. The first glaze was uh, a Colorobia glaze, and our uh, first issues were to, to, to get um, aesthetical uh, tiles uh, valid from an aesthetical point of view. I mean, no difference between the not treated tile and the treated tile. But the key is that in our opinion, in our experience that the silver must be at the surface. Today, we have two solutions for the market. The first one in the city of Parnassus IG, and it's a suspension of metal silver nanoparticles. And the second one is a powder, is a, um, an aluminosilicate functional hydro with metal silver it's in the city of Parnassus IG EA. This is the first one, the suspension. Uh, we are proud of the suspension because it's, uh, it, it has high concentration, about 4%. And from this, we derived also some other formulation, and more diluted, and also uh, applying the same synthesis that is patented uh, in 2010, uh, we got also suspension uh, having uh, an alloy of silver and copper we, with the scope to, to give also antiviral behavior to the tiles. This is the additive in power that has been studied exactly for the mass addition to the final glass, while the, the previous one was for ILS or screen printing or inkjet application. In this case, we have 10% of silver that uh, you can see in the image, uh, the scanning microscope, whereas the silver peak is very, very high. And now I go to the, uh, to the core, to the heart of the presentation, to the core of the presentation. We have some results. Uh, we got very good results, but only under controlled condition on a class of glazes with specific and precise characteristics. I recommend to keep into consideration this, uh, this fact, because you can see we have uh, interesting abutment. Uh, we follow the ISO 22196 with the value of bacterial in the test. And uh, every uh, time respect to the blank, I mean respect to the not treated same time. But as I described to you previously in the experience of Titania, we have the same objectives, the industrial reproducibility to go to the market. And we identified a lot of variables in the case of ceramic tiles. And, but at the same time, at, uh, exactly in the same way for the Titania, we need to have in our hands a reliable and reproducible process control system. We need to, to be sure that the scale up, scale up works well. But in this case, we have also to face with the type of glass because in ceramics, we have hundreds of glazes, uh, hundreds of glazes with hundreds of different behaviors. We have to face also with the application of homogeneity, the firing cycle, the permanence in the production line. And strictly, we need a control system from the treated product because the microbiological analysis has a great variability. So 
we need to introduce corrective action to manage these variables. So one is the selection of the glaze, uh, looking at the balance between firing temperature and refractory characteristics, but look also at the homogeneity during the application. And we understood in our processes that we need a chemical method in, at, in, at home, in-house, as an alternative of a microbiological method. Because like, our identified main variables, because we have several variables, but in this case, we identified, during the study, we identified that glaze application and firing are three important class of variables. Because some glazes work better than another. Our treatment, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, is not universal. In general, I think that every treatment uh, is not so easy to be completely universal. Uh, being a surface phenomena, better results <laughs> are obtained when applying concentrate products in small quantities. But it's in contrast with some traditional application of wireless, for example. For this reason, we have also the body, in body application, back application where higher concentrations are needed. And pay also attention to the fact that for airless and screen print application, uh, we must think, we must put a great attention to the permeation, penetration of active principle into the glaze. Because thinking, <laughs> uh, I am, I'm using an expression of Mekko, one of the nest relators, because sinking is a K phenomenon when we use the silver. Uh, finally, final cycle is a key point because the same glaze, the same glaze fire in different sites show different antibacterial behavior. And also microbiologic analysis is one of our issues because we noted that during our study with this alternative methods, extreme variability of the results of microbiological analysis. Because the microbiological analysis is a very delicate analysis itself, and you know it's performed in three replicas following the ISO 22196. Um, in addition, microbiological analysis is carried out on a five per five centimeters sample and it brings with the problem of the variability of the silver surface because you risk to, um, to do the analysis in a point of inhomogeneity where silver is not present or is present in reduced uh, quantity. And you know, all of us know that a microbiologic analysis is expensive and there is also the theme of waiting times. So with this alternative chemical methods, we are trying to identify the silver availability at the surface because in our opinion, it's the, it's the key point. And today we have some open issues and the current phase of our development at laboratory level is the identification of the medium value of uh, silver lixiviation from the surface. Uh, showing uh, a value of abutment greater than 90% or greater than one in order to select the most suitable glazes. And to do that, we are trying to select the chemical physical criteria to be correlated with oxide composition of the glades and the point of sphere and in spheres because they are relevant during the filing cycle. At the level of production line, uh, we are trying to reduce the inhomogeneity surface level, studying, deeply studying the application techniques, among which mass addition in the final glass, and printing, the inject, um, and so on. Inject is the, uh, the top uh, application system, the one preferred by us. I, and the second point is for us the identification on how the firing and permanence affect the production line in order to identify corrective action in case of negative results and to identify the best application technology. Why all this study? Because we want to get 
are reproducible and reliable treatment for our cancers. And so my conclusion that uh, is uh, uh, already described, but uh, if you go to the fine point uh, today, the developed technology for antibacterial ceramics together to the photocatalysis filter systems can make a great contribution to the implementation of healthy building that is the scope of modern time. Um, and we think that uh, thanks to this multifunctionality, nanomaterials can, create, can give a great impulse um, to the development of new products also in ceramic. And silver and other nanostructure can be used in several devices, uh, not only um, with the scope of antibacterials, but the scope also to add some other functionality such as anti-scratch, anti-fingerprint, uh, and so on. And uh, finally, a very important, the possibility of enriching existing uh, products, uh, our serious uh, IG, IGA, MPH, and future inkjet project with other chemical elements, make it possible to combine the theme of antibacterial and antibacterial and to enlarge the possibility to get a nanostructure surface surfaces with uh, this interesting behavior. I thank you for your attention. Information you can send out your uh, question to marketing at colorobia.com and thank you again to all of you. Thank you, Laura, very much for your very, very interesting presentation. Um, another company that I've been involved in research in this field for since many years, for many years, is Microban. Uh, Microban, a company that has been developing built-in antibacterial technologies for ceramic surfaces since uh, two, the year 2006. Let me introduce you now, after Laura, uh, let me introduce you now to our next speaker, second speaker, Mr. Giorgio Rimini from Microban Europe. Uh, Giorgio will discuss the benefits of long-lasting antimicrobial, antimicrobial surface protection provided by microban solutions, uh, and will offer also some guidance on the various international standards. Uh, uh, I know that he has also uh, he will also provide some uh, information about the market research microban did. Uh, uh, on the consumer approach towards this kind of topics. So let me give the floor to Giorgio. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. So the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Paola. I start by sharing my presentation. Okay, can you see the presentation? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, um, so uh, my name is Giorgio Rimini. I'm the managing director of Microban uh, EMEA. And today I will, I will introduce you to um, how it's possible to build um, cleaner ceramic surfaces uh, through our antimicrobial technologies. Um, first of all, we'll um, uh, introduce Microban as a company. We will then touch on the antimicrobial technologies and get into the details of our um, technology for ceramic surfaces. And uh, last but not least, we will uh, describe the advantages of uh, partnering with Microban. So who is Microban? We are an American uh, multinational company and we've been active in the market for more than 36 years. We specialize in built-in antimicrobial technologies. We have uh, um, one of the most advanced laboratories in the United States uh, where uh, we perform more than 30,000 antimicrobial tests every year. Through our technologies, we can treat over 50 different material types, including plastics, textiles, coatings, and ceramics, of course. Um, we have uh, a large network of uh, global uh, partners, uh, more than 300 partners across uh, multiple industries. Um, our technologies have been uh, introduced into more than 1,000 different products. There is one partnership that we are, um, we would like to highlight. We're very proud of this collaboration, and it's the 
partnership with uh, Procter and Gamble. Um, in 2020, uh, Procter and Gamble launched an exclusive line of uh, cleaning products that have a residual efficacy um, for at least 24 hours. And uh, this line, which is very successful, uh, is named Microban 24. In terms of areas of expertise, antimicrobial technologies basically are our core business. We are also active in odor control solutions and surface modification technologies. So where can these technologies be applied? There are endless applications in real terms, for example, consumer products, commercial products, textile products, building materials, and healthcare products. So the more than 300 partners that we have um, offer products uh, in uh, all of these sectors and many other sectors. Let's start by defining uh, uh, what is the problem in terms of uh, microbial growth. What are microbes? Uh, well, these are um, living organisms that are too small to be seen without a microscope. And microorganisms or microbes can cause a number of uh, issues such as a human illness, food spoilage, reduced product lifetime, so premature degradation basically, bad odors and surface staining. Um, let's see some facts. Uh, microbes can include bacteria, fungi, and algae. Um, these uh, organisms can thrive in moist and humid environments, uh, so much so that uh, microbes can double in number on a surface every 20 minutes. Of course, uh, due to the um, COVID-19 uh, emergency, uh, there has been a lot of interest uh, um, on the uh, viruses, uh, let's say, as opposed to bacteria or other kinds of microorganisms. So there are some important differences that we would like to highlight. First of all, viruses are not living uh, organisms. So in real terms, they are, let's say, borderline between inanimated objects and uh, um, uh, living organisms. Uh, key differences, well, first of all, the size. Viruses are significantly smaller than bacteria or fungi. They don't have a cellular uh, structure, uh, so they are not made of living cells. Um, they don't feature any growth insides, um, cannot reproduce uh, um, autonomously, let's say. They need uh, to be inside a host cell such as uh, you know, animal cells uh, and exploit the resources uh, to multiply. Uh, bacteria and fungi are uh, exploited uh, uh, in uh, some areas, for example, food, protect, food, food production. Let's just think of baking, for example. Um, on the other hand, uh, viruses uh, cannot really be beneficial. Uh, they can actually infect, uh, as we well know, uh, humans, animals, plants, fungi, and other organisms. Um, disease treatment, well, bacteria um, can be fought with antibiotics. Uh, you can use antifungals to, uh, let's say, fi fungi. And in terms of viruses, uh, antiviral and symptom management uh, are the, um, the right approach, let's say. So the key question is, uh, okay, can these organisms be inhibited by an antimicrobial treated surfaces? Well, the answer is definitely yes. We have a number of uh, technologies to inhibit proliferation of bacteria and fungi. With regard to viruses, this is a relatively new field of study. And there is substantial evidence that uh, uh, several technologies can be effective in deactivating viruses in a shorter time uh, on a treated surface than what would happen on an untreated surface. However, um, you need to be really careful on how you know, the treated surface is tested and even more, what kind of claims are you allowed once you have evidence of antiviral efficacy? And we will touch on this in the remainder of the presentation. So, as Paula mentioned, um, we perform a number of uh, market researches. We, um, let's say, since we are present in so many sectors, it's very important for us to understand where we need to um, focus. So, um, according to this independent research, 
consumers are definitely very concerned about exposure to bacteria and germs, about 72% of respondents, um, and then also 78% clearly are even more concerned after uh, the uh, COVID-19. So the market is definitely there. There is a great opportunity and uh, we are here to help you exploit this opportunity in the right way. Um, in our studies, we also looked at the main areas of concerns in terms of, uh, um, uh, say, um, cleanliness uh, in the home, for example, and uh, we found out that about 39% of respondents are uh, concerned about uh, cleanliness in the bathroom or hygiene in the kitchen, 38%, and then uh, let's say we have uh, uh, different results for other um, environments in the home. And we also found out, uh, let's say, the evidence about the specific products or surfaces of concern. So, for example, 42% of uh, respondents are concerned about uh, uh, germs in the toilet. Then you have 30% for showers or bathtubs and other results, let's say, for the various surfaces, including uh, uh, white appliances, floors, carpeting, and you name it. Um, it's also important to understand that uh, cleaning uh, their own home uh, is a, a significant source of stress for consumers. So they are uh, cleaning more and more um, compared to, the, let's say, the recent past. Uh, they want their house to, um, uh, to smell clean. They do. Uh, their home cleanings to remove germs uh, and uh, they don't want to be stressed about home cleaning. Okay, now that we have uh, identified this, the, the problem, let's have a look at the solution. First of all, uh, what do we mean by antimicrobial technology? Um, well, this, uh, there are technologies that uh, um, can be built into a surface to make the surface hostile to uh, microbial proliferation. So depending on the technology that you, you use, uh, you can have an antibacterial efficacy, an antifungal efficacy, anti-algae efficacy. Um, so you need to be very specific here. How does it work? Well, the technology, uh, first of all, is integrated into a surface during the manufacturing process uh, so that basically it's available on the surface. And when surface contamination happens, the technology will interact with uh, um, the microorganisms uh, inhibit their proliferation uh, so that uh, um, it will basically deliver a cleaner surface. Now, let's look at the details of our technology for ceramic applications. Microban has developed a breakthrough solution for the antimicrobial treatment of ceramic tiles in sanitary we have a, a patented formulation that is uh, um, exploiting the antibacterial features of silver. And we do so in a synergistic combination with other minerals. So basically it's not just silver, but there are other elements that basically enhance the antibacterial efficacy. It's important to highlight that the technology can be uh, added to uh, just to the top layer of uh, um, ceramic tile, for example, and this needs to be done prior to firing. So during the manufacturing process, we actually recommend to add the technology as soon as possible, if possible in the ball mill, it comes in a powder formulation. So it's very easy, let's say, to uh, blend it with your glaze, grind it, and um, this will help you, um, let's say, achieve uh, availability of uh, the uh, technology on the surface of the tile. And the, the, so the technology will be permanently there after the firing process. And typically this is done only on the top layer uh, due to, um, let's say, um, to keep uh, control of uh, the delta costs. What are the key features of our technology? Well, first of all, it doesn't affect aesthetics or ceramics of the ceramic surfaces. Um, it's effective for uh, the lifetime and it's very effective. Uh, we will see some numbers. Uh, uh, it doesn't require UV um, activation. It's process friendly, so it will seamlessly integrate with your manufacturing process, uh, provides product differentiation, it's cost effective, safe to use, and environmentally friendly. 
Um, as a ballpark number, you can consider a delta cost of about uh, 50 euro cents per square meter. Uh, there can be some fluctuations, but again, this is, let's say, achievable. In this slide, uh, we present just a, a quick comparison against uh, titanium dioxide, which is another technology that has been uh, used in the sector in the uh, recent past. Uh, the benefits of our technology, uh, first of all, it's always active. It's effective indoors and outdoors. It doesn't need the UV illumination, as we said. It's suitable for a wide range of colors. Ammonia compatible, um, ammonia is often um, present in cleaning agents uh, and um, our technology will not uh, release uh, any um, say potentially dangerous uh, uh, chemicals due to uh, ammonia. Improves cleanliness uh, because uh, um, by inhibiting uh, biofilm um, formation, uh, surfaces, uh, ceramic surfaces will be easier to clean. There are some variables to consider um, in terms of glaze chemistries. Uh, which raw materials are used, what's the glaze thickness, uh, um, the method of application of the glaze, firing conditions and kiln types. So there's some optimization, let's say, that is needed in terms of technical development. Uh, let's uh, have a look at some of our partners in the ceramic sector industry. Um, Panaria Group, for example, uh, and Floria Tile also belonging to Panaria Group. Keraben uh, in Spain, uh, Daltail in the US, Dongpeng in China, and Belit also in the uh, Far East. These are just some of the um, partners that we boast uh, in the uh, ceramic industry. We would like to spend one more minute uh, discussing about our partnership with Panaria Group. Uh, we are very proud of this collaboration. It was launched in uh, 2010. Um, today, Panaria has integrated our technologies in more than 50 um, collections to the various uh, brands, uh, Panaria, Lea, Cotto d'Este, Florida Tile, Bellissimo Stile Italiano in India. Uh, so um, you can just, uh, there are two considerations here. First of all, uh, I would like to uh, highlight the vision of this uh, uh, valued partner in figuring out that hygiene could become so important for consumers. Um, as we said, the market matured only recently, but these lines have been introduced years ago. The second consideration is uh, you can imagine how reliable Microbank can be as a partner um, due to the fact that we have been able to address the uh, requirements uh, of a company that has uh, uh, standards of excellence like the Panaria Group. So again, we are very proud of this partnership. Um, the efficacy that we achieved uh, uh, can be say up to 99.9% .9 on uh, the uh, protect tiles. So why should a ceramic producer consider a built-in antimicrobial technology? First of all, product will be easier to keep clean um, there will be reduced stains and odors. Uh, the technology is effective uh, also in moist and humid conditions where bacteria uh, typically uh, proliferate. Uh, the technology will minimize the risks of uh, cross-contamination. Uh, this is a technology that is permanently integrated, so lifetime performance uh, um, products will be more durable. It's a low risk investment. Keep in mind, we've been working with several ceramic manuf manufacturers globally uh, since uh, several years. So you are in good hands. And the technology works alongside the cleaning agents. Actually, uh, this is the, uh, the best approach in our view is to use both uh, in, um, a built-in antimicrobial technology and uh, uh, the, let's say, regular uh, uh, cleaning practices. Uh, uh, the blue line that you see in this graph is basically describing the, um, how the uh, bacteria load will evolve on an untreated surface. And then you see the uh, bacteria population grow and then that drastically de decrease once uh, a detergent is used. But after some time, say two hours, according to some studies, the bacteria load will then increase again, and, you know, and so you go on. The benefit of an antimicrobial technology is that basically the situation will be stabilized. So even between cleanings, the bacterial load will be under control on a treated surface. 
Let's give a quick look at the um, uh, efficacy testing. So how can the efficacy be assessed? There are a number of uh, methods. Microban uh, collaborated to develop the ASTM E3031 method. Uh, this is a, um, a test method that we recommend uh, because it's specifically, um, let's say, studied and defined uh, for ceramic surfaces. ISO 22196 is also widely used. It can be used effectively to assess uh, um, the antibacterial performance, but you need to keep in mind that this method was not conceived for ceramics, but rather uh, for polymeric surfaces. And therefore, there are some important modifications of the test, uh, some conditions that need to be taken into consideration and uh, in order for the test to provide a reliable answer. Uh, this means that the laboratory that performs the test needs to be familiar with you know, um, these conditions and on ceramic surfaces. The standard that we self-imposed here is to achieve at least a 99% reduction in bacteria on treated surfaces, so log two. Uh, typically, our partners are able to achieve even a higher number. So this is basically the effect of introducing antimicrobial technology. You can see the comparison under the microscope, the microscope between an untreated surface and a treated surface. You will have bacteria proliferation after 24 hours, let's say, on the untreated surface, uh, whereas on the treated surface, bacteria will be um, inhibited and then the population will basically disappear. An important aspect is also how you can visualize the difference. And this is where Microban helps. Uh, we help our partners uh, making the invisible visible. Keep in mind, uh, you want to, in the end, be able to exploit the market opportunity and um, explain to consumers which are the benefits of the technology. And believe me, this is not an easy task to accomplish. In terms of regulations, well, um, it's very important to highlight that the antimicrobial sector is a highly regulated um, industry. So there are uh, global regulatory bodies that govern the use of antimicrobial technologies, in particular um, the EPA in North America, in Europe, the biocidal product regulation, and there are advertising laws in the rest of, in the, rest of the world. Why is this important? Uh, well, um, Indeed, you have maybe a technology that works, but then uh, every you know, company that has introduced these technologies should be concerned about the following aspects. Can I legally import this technology? Can I introduce it in my product during the manufacturing process? Where can I sell this technology? In which markets legally? And more importantly, what can I say about the efficacy. Is it allowed to make some claims or is it not? I can tell you that due to the um, emergency, uh, let's say, of this uh, um, COVID-19 uh, um, uh, pandemic, there are a number of uh, uh, wild claims right now out in the market that we have seen. And uh, you need to be very cautious about the way you uh, develop your claims. This is where a partner that is familiar with the situation in terms of regulation can help. So uh, why should the partner, uh, um, a ceramic producer, uh, uh, choose Microban? First of all, we are a global trust mark. So if the Microban brand is there, you can trust that the product uh, is staying cleaner. Uh, we have a brand awareness that is very high and uh, say constantly increasing uh, um, as we speak. In terms of support, we offer, uh, we offer a turnkey support, so technical expertise, marketing support, the claims guidance, we named it, ingredient branding. Again, it's not easy to sell these technologies. You need someone who is familiar with the technology and with the market and patent counsel. So our job basically is the same um, job as Dolby Digital, uh, for example, for sound and vision technology. There is an embedded technology and you need to explain the benefits. The same goes for Intel's microprocessors. Again, a technology that is, that is not visible, that can bring important benefits, but again, you need to make it visible. This is what we do for the antimicrobial sector. It's also important to highlight that uh, 
due to all of our PR and brand building activities, we have the largest share of voice in the antimicrobial sector. Um, it's calculated that 88% is the share of voice of microban in the market for built-in antimicrobial technologies and the remainder goes to competition. We are present in more than 190 countries with uh, um, technologies that are globally notified, registered and certified. And again, we work with more than 300 partners in many different sectors. You can see some of our uh, partnerships here. We have a global footprint. So wherever your plants are based, wherever you are selling your products, so we will be there to help you. A summary slide, Microban is the world leader for built-in antimicrobial technologies. We developed a patented technology for ceramic applications. Uh, the technology is process friendly, easy to implement, cost effective, uh, compliant globally, safe to use, backed by turnkey support services and we boast a trusted ingredient brand with partnership worldwide. I thank you all for your attention. If you want to contact me, you can write me at giorgio.rimini at microband.com. Uh, you will also be able to download a PDF copy of the presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Giorgio, very much. Really, thank you for your very interesting and exhaustive presentation. Um, thank you also for providing your contacts, your email contacts, because uh, many participants will be able to contact you directly via email. But I take this opportunity to remind, to remind our participants to always quote the name of the speaker of uh, uh, to whom they want to use to send questions. I see that you are writing some questions on our uh, question and answer function. And some of your questions have been already answered by Laura Nicolai, for example, and soon will be also done by Giorgio Rimini. But in any case, please remember to quote the name of the speaker so you reach immediately uh, the person you are looking for. Uh, thank you again, Giorgio. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations for the presentation. Um, let now give the floor to our next guest, Claudio Casolari, who is uh, Sales and Marketing Manager of Mexico, uh, together with Graziano Vignali, the president of the company, as well as the head of the research of MECCO. MECCO is another company involved in this field in research on antibacterial uh, solutions for the ceramic surfaces since many years. And they will explain us how their research uh, have uh, reached uh, the today results. So with the NoBacter 05, a technical solution uh, to make the antibacterial action permanent for the uh, on the ceramic surfaces. So um, I ask, good morning, Claudio, and welcome. Good morning, Paola. Good morning, Paola. I leave you. I, I give you the floor, and the floor is yours for next twenty minutes. Thank you. Thank you for your invitation. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon to whom would my follow us in the afternoon uh, session. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here with you and um, it's a really uh, a chance to uh, join you with our latest uh, with our latest technology. Um, the main topic of the day will be as Paula said handled by two person. Uh, I'll take the first part of it as a marketing person and then the uh, second part of our presentation will be held by our president Mr. Vignali that will join us soon in video. Um, my today's presentation will might be uh, a bit uh, how to say out of the core since um, I'm not a technical person and I don't want to bother you with my technical personal thoughts. Uh, I do, uh, I do play with the market since uh, nearly 30, 32 years. Um, Metco, uh, I'm sure it's, uh, it's a familiar name for you, but it takes a chance, I take this chance to just remember we are in the market since uh, almost uh, 30 years with chemicals, uh, chemicals products, and we are basically specialists 
in uh, deliver a solution for uh, porcelain tile manufacturer as well as a sanitary wear and wide wear manufacturer. Um, the, the moment we are living in, it took me to this, to this thought. The 2020s took us into the VUCA generation uh, that really changed uh, the behavior of everybody onto many different fields. Uh, commercial, uh, personal relationship, and even vision, e vision to, to market and vision to many other things. What is the VUCA meaning? Uh, volatile. We are in, con in constant change since uh, the pandemia uh, started in our, in our world. Uh, it gave us uh, uncertainty. Um, someone, it's under a big risk of losing uh, the vision. It's, it's a complex world now due to the intercon interconnectivity. In, in, in two clicks, we are linked with, uh, with all over the world people. Um, it's something new for most of us. Uh, a as ambiguity. Um, there are a lot of interactions between people. So it's not easy to find the true solutions for the day-by-day uh, -day needs. And that's why I believe that the um, VUCA uh, meant something to all of us. So <clears throat> to uh, overcome this moment, uh, I have decided to ask to myself, not what, not how, uh, but basically uh, why. Um, why um, not, not only to uh, my own business, but why should a customer pick my products or choose my solutions? Um, for, you know, a chemical, a chemical, uh, to say, uh, special specialist. Yes, it might, might be one of the, one of the reasons. Uh, because the market push, it would might be uh, another reason. Uh, he thought that probably with my solution would, uh, would get uh, more money in his business. Yes, I believe so. That's, that's why we are all here. Um, uh, it should take care of the uh, future, uh, future, future of, of, of the people that it's, it's around us. And, and of course, the, the carbon footprint, it's another, it's another issue. But uh, among of why, we have to choose when. When we should go through it. The time, it's an important, it's an important issue. Uh, time for decisions. Uh, Medco uh, works is, is based on, on three pillars. We deliver aesthetics, we deliver uh, uh, strength, and we deliver, uh, let's say, functionalization of the, of the material we are getting in touch with. As you can see in the first picture here, the, the black penguin, it's showing us a color that has synced into a, into a color uh, body. And we are talking about uh, uh, true porcelain dyes. In the Black Eagle picture, you can see the color, the brown color that has, you know, sinked into a, a porcelain white body uh, again. And the spider one, it's showing you the color sinked into a salt and pepper. Uh, without the color, the salt and pepper, it's almost a disappeared product in the market. So it might be a chance to. Uh, uh, revamp and renew his, uh, his uh, reason of existence. In the uh, white dog picture, you can see a red body uh, material with a drop of color that is actually sinking through it. Again, with a very simple uh, raw material, uh, which is part of our traditions in the, in the production, especially for, for Italy, we can get a luxury looking uh, products. Uh, the zebra picture, it's giving almost the same solution with a red body, which is a cheap ones, a white substrate, uh, and of course, again, our sinking technology that take care of the, uh, of the decoration. Uh, our exclusive solution and the main topic of the day is the one with the white cat on. Uh, here we got uh, our uh, sinking colors, SSI, which gave the uh, beauty of the tiles. And then the Nobacter, which is our solution based on, on silver, that gave the functionalization of the, of the system. All these things can be uh, polished. And this is something very important to be stressed. 
The uh, partner in our business, of course, is the ceramist. And the partner of the ceramist, take it or leave it, is Miss Mary, who has a uh, wish list, <laughs> as everybody. Uh, Miss Mary wants a cheap tie, no doubt. She wants something nice to be seen. She wants a trendy, fashionable, and fashion style looking ties. She wants a sane material. She wants an easy to be clean material. She wants a material that resists to many things and much more to come. <laughs> Stay tuned. The request of the market is changing almost every day as we have seen uh, by ourselves. So there are no fairs coming, but people is talking every day, even without, without the main fair in. So our exclusive proposal will might fit for all the uh, possible requests of the market. Basically, here we can see a, a, a surface of a porcelain tile decorated by uh, our solution, our sinking solution, SSI, with no buckler on top. And, you know, after a deep abrasion, you can, you know, feel the color and the and the most you can get the efficiency of the antibacterial solution. This is what we call exclusive solution and it's a kind of integrated solution. A small marketing tip to my, to my colleagues. Uh, Mecco Snowbacter 05 sinking solution. Keep the original color since it is a transparent solution. So example, you got a blackboard series and you wanna have it uh, as an antibacteric. We can do it without changing any uh, tones in your, in your true body. Again, if the body is colored with the uh, sinking uh, Metco SSI color, would not change. So um, the main, the main you know, question to me is, is that, do, you, do your marketing force uh, know all of this? I mean, do they are aware that they can sell these kind of things through your production? To stress it one more time, uh, here we have a, a sample, again, porcelain tiles uh, produced with our uh, sinking colors, SSI, and a no bacter on top. After 500,000 revolution, uh, following the PA methods, which normally needs like 12,500 to be PA5, we still have the uh, clear picture of the image we print on it by a digital. And of course, we still have the uh, antibacterial activity, which is the uh, most, in, uh, most important features about this. Um, this is almost all from my side. I leave you with a, a small video that shows in words what I have said. And then I leave the floor to my uh, president, uh, Mr. Vignali. Thanking all of you for the attention. Thank you. I'm online. Do you hear me? So. Yes, you are online. Good morning to you're online. You're online. Good morning to everyone. And first of all, I would like to thank as the organizer that gave us the possibility to discuss about this topic that actually is very interesting uh, for the market. It is difficult in uh, 10 minutes to give all the information necessary to explain the technique we use to make uh, ceramic surface battery side. And therefore, uh, I limit myself giving some general tips to focus more on two points that I consider quite important. Uh, this to these topics are uh, mainly the, the testing procedure and the future development. If anyone is interested in something uh, that is on uh, the slide, uh, and uh, I don't explain uh, enough, please write to me. Uh, there is my email and therefore uh, I'll answer as soon as possible. 
well uh, i told to be quick to concentrate on two points so let me to start uh, quickly i start from uh, 3000 years ago to be very quick the Romans used the silver uh, for max and tutelary. Clearly, only the very rich Roman from Wall Street. And uh, this uh, doesn't uh, give us the certain that uh, silver works. Silver works on uh, bacteria, on uh, uh, virus, on uh, yeast, on fungi, it's uh, on uh, literature. There are a lot of uh, work about this type of uh, efficacy. We have done a big uh, research by bibliography, and we have found that it is uh, effective on uh, 600 different uh, microorganisms. Clearly, as I told before, we are speaking about bacteria, virus, fungi, yeast, uh, and so on. But which is the key point? The key point is to put uh, the silver in contact with the bacteria, as uh, highlighted by Laura. And how we can do this? We remain in the wake of our uh, technology. As uh, Claudio explained, we developed the technology of sinking uh, color, and we have used it for several years to, to decorate the tiles. What is sinking color <laughs> is the name. We do a soluble solution, not a suspension, that can penetrate the ceramic body. What we obtain with this? That we, uh, we spread the material inside the first layer of the tile of the ceramic surface. We apply, uh, we, we have developed a, a water-based uh, complex and a solvent-based complex. The later one uh, are the base for the digital links that will be available soon. They are already under test and certification. While the water-based uh, solution can be applied by spray dry, uh, screen printing, uh, roller, uh, as you prefer, because they are quite easy to apply. This solution is absorbed by the uncooked tiles. Cooked during the cooking, the silver in the atomic state is released, and therefore we obtain a colloidal silver fixed in the glass matrix of the tile. If we polish or lap the tiles, no problem at all. We obtain a uh, bactericide surface and the activity clearly is proportional to the quantity of the active center. The active center are uh, proportional to the quantity of silver applied. Remember this but because it's important when we discuss about the um, how to say the uh, ISO uh, let me see, the, uh, testing procedure about the testing procedure. More difficult to obtain this uh, um, feature on the surface. Why? Because uh, the glass of the surface receives the maximum of the heat and therefore can absorb completely the, uh, the silver, which is our uh, work, is to develop a, a technology, a procedure to remain exactly on the surface. How can we do it? using a pretreatment or modifying the, uh, the silver complex. And here there is the advantage of MEPCO. We have equipped our laboratory to do a simplified bacteriological test to quickly verify uh, if the tile, if the trial that we have done is bactericide or not. So we can do quickly on uh, uh, directly on the, uh, on the customer line, several type of uh, trial and later on in some days to verify exactly which of this trial are uh, active or not. Later on, we have identified which are the parameters that we have to use in production. 
this is uh, uh, our, uh, how do you say, is our fitter. We are like a, a tailor that uh, created the right dress for the customer. We can uh, consider some other points that are on the slide. We don't alter in any case the graphic because as Claudio told, the material is completely transparent. Is easy to store because it is a solution and doesn't need a particular condition. Clearly, it's a water solution, so we have to avoid that to go below zero. But no battery constantly active is already well known in the market since 2008. The manufacturer remain uh, battery side for all in their life. So this is only uh, some tips. I prefer to go on uh, on the two points that I consider quite important in this moment. Well, before to start with two points, I would like to share with you some, uh, some reflection. How a contamination occur on, on uh, the surface? Most of the infection occur by air transmission because the bacteria, virus, micro are in the hair. We are inside the uh, microorganism environment. And how is the contaminated surface? By sedimentation from the hair. Slowly, bacteria, virus arrive on the surface. As it's very intuitive that when we sanitize with, for example, sodium hypochlorite, already 100 years that we know this. The bacterial load is zero, completely zero. But as Giorgio or Laura, I don't remember who told this, after two hours, there is already a bacteria on the surface and continually grow. Giorgio showed a slide, very interesting. Explain exactly what I'm saying. We have a slowly improve of bacterial load till the next Sanitization. So here comes the real big advantage of the ceramic treated with uh, silver. Keeps the bacterial load low, very low. So try to, to imagine. The, this, this is the, um, the advantage. So now we shift on the two consideration. On uh, the market, there are two procedure to evaluate, to testing procedure. The ISO 22196 and ASTM E3031. You can see directly in the slide, there are very big difference. The first one apply 15,000 bacteria by square centimeter. The second one 400 uh, bacteria. Why is this difference? In my opinion, because and it's quite easy to, to uh, reading the two uh, testing procedure is due to the uh, material of reference. The first one is devoted for the plastic material. A plastic material, I come from the plastic uh, field. You can load uh, with uh, a strong antibacterial material like oxalic chloride, benzalconium chloruro, several type of uh, chemical uh, product that slowly release on the surface and so kill immediately the uh, bacteria. But the release will end. And so we land the, uh, the effect. Why? A tile will remain effective for all the your life. If you, cons if you read the uh, A3031, you see that it's devoted to the uh, cer ceramic surface. So for me, it's more suitable for uh, our business. In fact, it, if you check on uh, my bibliography, uh, there are a lot of work concerning the investigation of the load uh, of bacteria on the surface. And uh, you see that vast majority is between a few bacteria till the worst case, 1,500. And again, we are speaking about surface that 
doesn't have a system that uh, kills the bacteria continuously. In fact, it is our intention to do uh, some tests on uh, the field to verify it is as we think, because in my opinion, it should be quite easy to think that uh, remain very low, arise from there, are killed, arrive other, are killed, arrive other, are killed. Here there is a, but another key point. If you imagine that you create several uh, layer of uh, bacteria, that the bacteria, later on the silver can't work. So uh, it's important to have also a sanitization or cleaning as you prefer, uh, regular. Here, in my opinion, arrives the key point. We are speaking about a code event of sanitization. Here, uh, needs uh, some marketing <laughs> manager that find a, a right wording to explain uh, with a word the real advantage of uh, sil uh, silver treated uh, ceramic surface. Here we have uh, uh, discussed about, shortly it's clear, about the concerning about the two testing procedure. Future, I told you that we are uh, studying, but what we are studying. We are studying also the virucide uh, properties. Because in literature, especially around uh, the first uh, SARS epidemic, SARS-1, uh, SARS <laughs> I call it SARS-1, uh, appeared um, some article dealing with uh, the activity of uh, silver on uh, virus. So we decided to study deeply this uh, point. And we have some very interesting results. But sometimes not uh, current. So uh, we decided to study more deeply the procedure. And we realized that the procedure is not completely suitable for this type of uh, uh, business because, again, gives a time of contact, 20 minutes, while the tile works 24 hour, hours. We are, in fact, we have uh, discussed deeply with some virologists, and they agreed with us that. We have to do tests at different time of contact. We are waiting a virus from Germany to carry on this style, this uh, type of uh, trial. And if is we expect a new field will be open because I imagine table, desk, handle, uh, cutlery, a lot of things made of uh, ceramic that are able to keep the virus very low. And there's a little bit important this period. Let me to say <laughs> that it's quite important. So Luciano, sorry, we're that... talking about time. We are out. Ah, sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you to, <laughs> to keep me in time. So uh, I would like to, to close uh, showing the a, a photo of a part of our group that make me very proud of their work. So Thank you for your attention and sorry if uh, I <laughs> fly a little bit. Ciao a tutti. Thank you, ciao. Thank you, Paola. Hello. Thank you, Graziano. It was really a pleasure to host you among, among our guests. And thank you, Claudio. Really a very interesting, very interesting presentation. And I agree with Graziano, uh, this topic would need hours and hours to dis yeah. for discussion. Oh. Probably we will do it later on. <laughs> we will have a, around uh, one webinar every 15 days uh, up to mid-May or end of May. We have already planned our cycle of uh, webinars, of technical webinars. Uh, the next one, for example, will be on February 10 and 11 uh, next month, so in 15 days. Uh, we will discuss on that occasion with uh, four leading companies in the technology for surface finishing, which are BMR, Surfaces Group, Unilin Technologies, and Premier. Uh, once again, I invite all the participants to this webinar to keep, uh, to, to, to keep informed and to keep uh, up-to-date through the Technonext platform. 
or the Ceramic World Web uh, e-magazine uh, in order to be always uh, updated about the next uh, uh, events, digital events we will uh, organize. Yes, of course, as said, uh, up to mid-May, we will have around six, seven webinars, technical webinars, so digital events in order to keep in contact with our national and international uh, Friends, uh, the, the, the international community of ceramic or the web and ceramic world review and technology, of course. Um, I invite uh, uh, those of you, of, of the participants who are um, making uh, answers, uh, questions uh, in our uh, Zoom plat platform uh, to be patient and they will receive a response directly from the uh, speakers uh, via email. Um, I invite you also to check if you are already uh, registers, uh, registered to receive the Ceramic World Web newsletter in order to receive our Friday newsletters uh, where the recorded webinars will be always av also available. So if you want to see it again, or some of you ask if the PDF presentation will be available, the answer is yes. You will receive both uh, uh, also via newsletter from Ceramic World Web, depending on the base of your registration. So if you have, if you are not yet registered there, please go on the web to the website and uh, click on the button newsletters and register. So on Friday you will receive everything. So there's nothing else to say but uh, uh, to see you all at the next webinar i wait for you look forward to meeting you again on february the 10th for the italian session and february 11th on for the english one we will talk about uh, finishing technologies so um, thank you for uh, having participated to the webinar today and goodbye thank you to you